Right. Well, we are on a hot track yes. <laughs> weather-wise. We've got meteorologist Tracy Humphrey. And, you know, joking aside, this could potentially be very dangerous for a lot of people in our community. Yes, I was just counting up how many days I think we're going to have a triple-digit highs, consecutive days. And right now it looks like about nine. Oh, my god! So that counts yesterday. That would be today, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh-uh. Yes. <laughs> I don't want that. So not only is it a long stretch of heat, but yeah, a pretty a severe heat. Here's a look out towards Stockton. Uh, today is going to be a sunny day and a very hot day when it's all said and done. 92 in Sacramento, 92 in Stockton, 89 degrees in Modesto, mid 90s coming in through Marysville, 79 degrees in South Lake Tahoe. Other cur current conditions, 25% relative humidity. It is hot and it is dry. 51 degrees for your dew point, north to northwest wind around 12 miles per hour. Take a look at a new situation that came out. Now this is from the National Weather Service um, right here in Sacramento. Downtown Sacramento is the warmest August on record. That was just the August 2022 warmest on record ever in recorded history. 83.2 degrees was the average temperature. And you might recall last month we did have the hottest temperature so far this year. That was 108 degrees on August 16th. So I'm setting the stage. We're coming off of a very warm August and we are go going into September with record breaking heat possible. We have an excessive heat warning in effect Saturday, Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, expecting the hottest temperatures of the year. Fire weather also a big concern over the course of the weekend. It's going to be hot. It's going to be dry. You couple extreme heat with the peak of wildfire season. Thousands of people out enjoying themselves. 90% of fires are caused by humans, right? The odds are I wouldn't be surprised if you have some grass and brush fires over the weekend. And also this could unfortunately be a deadly heat wave. Fans may not do what you need them to do. You need to seek and find air conditioning. Now's the time to come up with a plan for you and your family. And the hottest times of the day, one o'clock in the afternoon to seven o'clock at night. So you have to check on the elderly, people who are disabled or homebound, and just make sure they have the proper cooling. Today from 106 in Marysville, 106 in Folsom, 106 in Stockton, 107 in Lodi, Foothill Avenue, Afternoon highs from 100 in Auburn, 99 in Georgetown, 102 in San Andreas, as well as in Tucsonora. And for the Sierra, upper 90s in Chester and Quincy, 89 degrees coming in for Truckee, 82 in South Lake Tahoe, and near triple digits in Reno. You get to the Bay Area, and it is all about the microclimates. Are you at the coastline? You're in the 70s. Lucky you. Once you cross the Bay Bridge, you start moving into the East Bay locations. Mid to upper 90s are expected. So here is the concern. Yesterday was 102. Today, at least 105. Friday, 103, 106 for Saturday, Sunday 111, Monday 112. That is a long stretch of intense and dangerous heat, all because of this high pressure system. It is a huge dome of heat. It compresses all of that heat right at the surface. Air quality is going to be compromised. We'll have unhealthy air quality, and we're also looking at more ozone formation. So bear in mind the next couple of days, if you have any upper respiratory concerns, you do want to limit your time outside. So here is our excessive heat warning. Morning. Northern end of the valley, hills coming into parts of the north and the east bay. That is Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Take a look at this seven day forecast. I think the timing, Dina, is what I'm most concerned about. It's one thing to have heat, it's another to have it when everyone is outside trying to do some type of recreational activity. That is a look at your weather. Stay with us. We'll be right back.